Hello, this video from UWGB Libraries will show you how to gather information to format a citation from a database. The citation example in this video will be a journal article found in an online database formatted in MLA style. Here is an example of a citation for an actual article. It's easy to miss punctuation, capitalization, and italicizing, so make sure you pay attention to that when formatting your citation. Unfortunately, citation information will not always be located in the same place, either in the database or on the article itself. This video will show you two different examples of articles and databases, JSTOR and Academic Search Complete. Hopefully by showing you two different examples, it will help you locate the different pieces of the citation on your own in other databases as well. The first part of the citation we need is the author. Typically, locating the author is straightforward on the article itself and in the database. Sometimes there are multiple which you need to include in your citation. You might find an about the author area or author affiliation, such as the university they work at on the article itself or in the database information. In the JSTOR example, the author is located above the journal information and is on the article as well. Next, we need the title. The title should have been the first thing you saw when selecting your article in the database and often has the largest font size in the information. When looking at the article itself, the title should be one of the first things appearing at the top of the page. Finding the journal information is the trickiest part because the location of this can really vary on both the article and in the database. For the citation, you will need the name of the journal, which is where the article was published in, along with the volume number, issue number, date of publication, and page numbers. The vast majority of all journals will have a volume and issue number, however sometimes there will only be a volume number. They also display the date of publication. For MLA style, we only need the year. If you aren't sure what the name of the journal is, it's typically always followed by a publication date, volume, page, and issue number. In EBSCO databases, you can find the journal information under the source area. In this case, the journal is 18th century fiction. The journal name is followed by the date of publication, volume number, issue number, and its page numbers. If you look at the article, the name of the journal is located in small text on the bottom of the first page, which is common, or sometimes you might find it in small text at the top of the first page in some journals. In the JSTOR example, there is an image of the journal cover, which is an indicator with the title next to it, Feminist Studies. Notice that just like in the other database, the journal name is also followed by the other journal information we need. Unlike the other article, the name of the journal information cannot be found on the article itself, which also can happen. If this is the case, you will need to refer to the database or website you located the article at for the information. The database name can also be very confusing to identify. The name of this database is Academic Search Complete, not EBSCO. EBSCO is the company that hosts the platform for the database. Since we have multiple EBSCO databases, many will look the same. However, the name of the database you are searching will appear at the top of the search bar in the EBSCO databases. Similarly, we have several databases that are run by the company ProQuest and look similar to others. The name of this database, for example, is Early English Books Online, not ProQuest. The name of the database we have used for the second example is JSTOR. If you're ever not sure, you can always contact a librarian for assistance. Lastly, if you found your journal article online, you will want to include a link to the source, preferably a permalink URL. You may be wondering, what is a permalink URL? also known simply as a permalink, a stable URL, or a document URL. A permalink is a URL that never changes and will always bring you back to the same page, avoiding problems with broken links. Not all databases will have a permalink option listed, or they might not be easy to find. All EBSCO databases will have a permalink button on the left side located here that you can copy and paste. In JSTOR, the link is referred to as the stable URL located on the left side underneath the journal information. Those are all the pieces you will need for a journal article citation in MLA style. When formatting your citation, don't forget to pay attention to capitalization, punctuation, and italics. For more information on MLA citation rules, visit our Cite Your Sources guide in this URL. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about any information in this video, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page. Mm -hmm.